Colleen Kligabair. Yay! However, however, not to discount or discredit those fantastic actors, but luckily, you are about to be, you know, kind of pseudo-entertained, or at least we hope so. You're not going to be sitting in a hall. This is Jamie Markey, ladies and gentlemen. Oh my gosh, thank you. This is my good friend, Trina Nishimura. Hello. I, I recognize that uh, you were sitting in a hallway, and that's not cool. No. I get that. We're all on the same page yeah. about that, right? Yes. Hey, so how many of you, wait, we're planning on going to our panel tomorrow. Okay, rules are, you still have to go to our panel tomorrow. <laughs> all right? Okay? Okay. Okay, all right. Well, I'm going to need, I, before we officially start. Yeah, officially. We just greeted it, isn't that an official? Well, I mean, it was official, official, but everyone like, is kind of like sleepy. Oh. So, how many of you are excited to be here? Just <laughs> run. Okay, but really, how many are you excited to be here? <laughs> A little better, right? As am I. Oh. Hello. Look at that. <laughs> it's like God gave us a sign. It's <laughs> pretty. <laughs> that sign was bright. And it said Canon and Citizen. <laughs> oh, I thought it said Marky, but it says Mark Cole. You know, it can be Marshall. It's good. Marshall. Marshall. That would make sense. C uh -huh. being Marky with a C H. I just assume every C H is a K. <laughs> we are currently in the month of Mark. Hey. <laughs> also, I cannot write March without writing Marky first. It's like, this is how I spell March. M A R C H I backspace. Wow. <laughs> That's so crazy. I can't write Nishimura with anything else, really. So. Right. Well, it's really fun. Yeah, Sorry no, I, I wish there was a month called Nishimura. And then, uh, backspace. People put an exclamation mark next to it. I'm like, that's me! Oh. <laughs> yeah. Welcome, come on in. Hey, hey. Nice have, to have a little sit down. Sit down, squat down, or lie down. So we just kind of sit up here and chat. We don't have a format. We're babblers. Yeah, that's Woo! cool. I, I appreciate that's okay. that. I appreciate that. Thank yes. you. Thank you for the prompt. What do you, okay, so we have, I know that we have some people that want to ask us questions specifically, but is there anything else besides question taking you guys wanting, that you want us to tell you what we're in? Yeah. We're kind of famous, too. Yeah. So you know, yeah. Yeah. Trina, famous. Well, I mean, it's not really a thing. I'm trying. We're working on it. Right. There's a particular restaurant in Dallas I'm famous at. It's Thai and they deliver. I don't know what it's called. And they're like, oh, Jamie, yeah. They love you because, well, their curry is out of control. Oh, so sorry. Um, Trina, my darling. Jamie. What, what, what have you been in? What have I, what haven't I been in? Hey-oh. <laughs> uh, so let's see, sometimes that's, that's how, like, it's how it works. There's something in everything, like, tiny little voice, backgrounds. Right, yeah. yeah. Trina and I started doing Walla together. Well, I had been around a little bit longer, but we did Walla together for a very long time, which is like, crowd scenes. And it was Trina, Brina Palencia, and myself. It was fun. And what a time we had. <laughs> we, it was very, it was hard to get us to focus. Actually, just mostly talking. They eventually separated us. We were like, oh my god, I'm so good to see you. I haven't seen you since yesterday. And I'm like, I don't want to. You want us to do a scene? But we're talking. And then, and then the background became like, so okay, there's, there's this new guy, and I think he's kind of cute. But what do you like? Some of them, I'm sure, if you listen to the background noise, if you could listen to it, you would hear <laughs> our social lives. <laughs> <laughs> who you were dating, who you weren't dating, yeah. who you were diddling. <laughs> <laughs> Those were the days. <laughs> Anyways, uh, let's talk about shows. So, um, I started at Funimation Entertainment about seven years ago with a little show called Desert Punk. I was a little girl. Woo! Thank you. Thank you. I was a little hungry girl all the time. I opened the show, I think, with like, I'm hungry or something like that. And then I got to eat a lollipop in my very first session ever. That was pretty cool. That was with Zach Bolton. It was his first show. Um, from there, I graduated and uh, kind of staked my claim at Funimation and refused to leave basically, until they started casting me more. Uh, so oh, I did works. Negama. I was Chao Ling Shin in Negama and Matsu, directed by, season two was directed by the beautiful Jamie Markey. Oh, and written, right? Yes, I wrote the second season as well. Yes. It was kind of amazing. Uh, let's see, what else? Uh, there was also my very first big, big role was a tiny little show called Jayose. 
I don't know if you want to Anyone? Anyone? It's a fun little show. Oh, yeah. there it is! Okay. Yeah. 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 It exists. It exists. Google it. Uh, New one. Uh, Tiz and Matt. Uh, let's see what else. There was Claymore. I don't know if y'all know. Yeah. 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 Um, hey, as you say stuff, I'm going to say I was in that too. So oh, yeah. That'll really cut down on time. It'll help. Okay, so I was in Desert Punk as well. Okay. Um, um, School Rumble. And I was in, oh, I'm sorry, uh, not School Rumble, the other one. I was in Negama. Negama. I wrote and directed the second season, yeah. and I also am Haruna. Yeah. Um, School Rumble. Akira. I was Akira in School Rumble. I have more roles in School Rumble than anyone else. I have about five or six roles back. Yeah, one of them's name is Psycho, because I thought that was hilarious. Like, the line was, well, who are you? I'm Psycho. Claymore. Claymore. I'm Claymore. Helen in Claymore, which I always... Claymore. I, I just now started remembering it because it was a simple name, so I'd be like, I'm like Mary, Jana, because it's so normal. Right. It's like, oh, I can't remember that one. Helen, 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 Helen. I was two people in Claymore. I was Flora and Sophia. Nice. Yeah, you know, I'm just an overachiever that way. <laughs> but uh, let's see what else there was. Uh, uh, we did School Rumble. Uh, were you in My Bride as a Mermaid? That one just came out. That, that was, was a really fun one. Not. I, I like love that. Little, like, side might have been an animal. Or something. I love um, that show. Let's see what else. Uh, there was also uh, uh, <coughs> El Casador de la Bruja. <laughs> Anybody? 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 Yay! All right, thank you. Woo! Got a pause on that one. Oh, that means it's good. Go get it. There's a fun show. What's that one called? Full Metal that? Alchemist. Oh, okay. Woo! Woo! Yeah. Uh, so I'm in Full Metal Alchemist. I'm Woo! Um, Uh, yeah. so that one was fun. Uh, I'm in a t I'm tiny little role yeah. in, in Full Metal as well. You know, I'm Rick the Ishbalan boy. Aww. Aww. Awesome. Gosh, thank you. Awesome. That was fun. <laughs> um, what else? Uh, what was that <laughs> one? And you were the girl, and she was like crazy awesome, and it was like fighting crime, and or robots, and I was the girl with the glasses. Are you talking about Witchblade, perhaps? Oh yeah, Witchblade too. Witchblade. Yeah, that was. Woo! Yeah, we were both in Witchblade. This is the Witchblade, by yes, the way. Yes, I played the Witchblade. I played her original, or her first nemesis. Right. Who was also secretly in love with Colleen's character. Um, <laughs> and then, uh, uh, no, it was Tyler Shaw, uh, Blast Rider. Blast Rider. Blast, Blast Rider. Rider. Yeah, right? That's what I like to sing when so, I'm in it. We're both in Blast Rider. Yeah. I played Amanda, another simple name that I have a hard time remembering. I'm May Fong Amanda Lu. Burner. How did you get Amanda? And I got May Fong Lu. That's German. Oh, that's cool. That's cool. I get that. <laughs> um, uh -huh. okay, what else? Uh, what else? Uh, 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 I just think of it by booths. Like in Funimation, there are like different sound booths, you know? And I'm like, okay, so a month ago I was in. Huh? Strike Witches. Oh, yeah. Oh, Strike yeah. Witches. Strike Witches. Anybody? Strike Witches? Yeah. Uh, the, you, you just gotta commit, you know? Sometimes the cheese stands alone. <laughs> and that's okay. Uh, the great thing about uh, doing a panel with Jamie is that A, we're very good friends. Yes. Uh, B, you may not have noticed. <laughs> wait, wait. I mean, like this, like really? peanut butter and oh, yeah. pickles. Pickles. <laughs> peanut butter and pickles. Because yeah. <laughs> that goes oh, together. That's a great um, so the great thing is that whenever we're in panels together, we can talk about the shows that we've been in together because most of them uh, were Nemesis. either uh, Nemesis. Is it Nemesis See? or Nemesis? I don't know. We don't like each other. We don't like each other. Nemesis. 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 Please. And then in Strike mm -hmm. Witches, we're, we're like, besties. We're besties and Yay. in love. Mm -hmm. uh, what's the name of your character again? Shirley Yeager. <laughs> Another name? normal name. Yeah. Cause I'm American. <laughs> I'm. Woohoo! You're Francesca yeah. Romano, Regia, Lucini, Aeronautica Pilot. Like, yeah. How did you get that? I, I get the weird names. It's, I think it's because my last name. Weird names. I get the weird names. It's, I think it's because my last name's Nishimura. I think it's Probably. that. Name. Oh yeah, she's the ethnic one. <laughs> Shirley has red hair and is sassy. Oh, that's oh, true. So that's true. Not much. Yeah. Uh, I, I must say. What else? What else? Uh, Strike Witches, My Bride is a Mermaid. Uh, Soul Eater. Soul Eater. Yeah. Yeah. I'm Liz in Soul Eater. Yeah. Thank, you. Thank you. So awesome. I'm uh, the little mouse girl. And <laughs> <laughs> we love her for oh, that. Oh, that was cute. That was really well done. Um, Thanks. Don't take my job, okay? <laughs> Mama needs to eat. <laughs> yeah, people, if they ask us, you know, oh, you want to be voice actor on audition? Really? Talk for a little bit. Let me see what you sound like. Mm, you sound like me, no. <laughs> I'm going to kick you out. Yeah. Um, I started about 
eight or nine years ago with Funimation. So my very first thing was um, um, ah! Fruits Basket. Oh, yeah. Woo! Awesome. That's awesome. That's awesome. I'm Motoko Minagawa, the fan club president. Who, yeah. That's awesome. That was fun because that was the first thing I'd ever done. So uh, Justin Cook was directing it, and Christopher Bevins was the engineer at the time. Yep. Crazy. Crazy, yeah. And so I went into audition. I'd never done anything like that before. I just kind of randomly got the audition and uh, read for it. He, you know, they called me and they're like, yeah, we want you to come in to do this role. And I was like, oh, sweet, what is it? The Psycho Fan Club president. I'm like, oh, psycho. He's psycho. I wonder what he wants me to do with my voice. Because I'd never done, you know, I'd done voiceover commercial work, but never voice acting. So I went in, and um, I was like, so, and he told me about the character and everything. And I was like, so what are you, what are you looking for, for like, psycho? And he said, yeah, I think your, your natural voice is right. <laughs> I was like, thank you. No, I can't. Oh, nine years ago. <laughs> nine years ago. There's been a lot of lines since then, and we don't memorize them. And you know what? I've never had. Now I'm gonna have to memorize that because nobody's ever asked me to do a fruits basket line before. So thank you. I'll I'll go that's and great. memorize it. Yeah, that's yeah. really cool. And one something psycho. <laughs> Two something psycho. <laughs> something even more psycho. Yeah, I like it. I like yeah. it a lot. Um, and that was followed by uh, Burst Angel. You think Burst, Burst Angel was a great show. Meg and Burst Angel, yet another sassy redhead. How many characters do you play? Like, how many shows are you? Is your name Meg? <coughs> I feel like there's Meg. a lot. A couple. Yeah, a couple. I just heard recently. This is kind of cool. Not to brag. <laughs> um, I was blown away by that hair talk. So sorry. Um, what is there's a uh, something? It's I can't remember the site now. See, my memory is gone right now. Um, Behind the voice actors, maybe? Something like that. There's a site like that. And they emailed me and said that they'd added up all of my characters and stuff. And I've been in over, um, I've had over 100 characters. That's fantastic. Oh, wow, that. that's cool. And I'm, crazy, only, right? I'm only the sixth woman in the United States to have done so. Wow. You need a high five. Woo! Yeah. Woo! I was like, well I'm going to put that on my resume. <laughs> yeah, that was kind of cool. So that's I've been awesome. in a lot. So when people are like, what have you been in? Well. <laughs> what do you watch? It's yeah. weird, right? Yeah. I can never remember. Like, I have to pull out my phone and I'm like, should we start with the ace? Yeah. <laughs> okay. And then you just read and you're like, wow, I've, I've, I've collected, I've done some stuff. Yeah. That's pretty cool. Um, I started, I also, I started directing for a while. I directed for a while. Um, I'm directing, currently directing just a little bit of a show that I can't tell you about, but I'm very excited Woo! about. Good show. But in the past, I've directed the second season of Megama. Mm -hmm. uh, I started, oh, and I forgot about the show, um, um, Spice and Wolf. Any fans? Woo! That's a good show. I wrote the adaptation to Spice and Wolf, and I played Chloe in that, and I also started the direction of that. So, um, cool. Brina and uh, Michael owe me for casting them. That's all I gotta say. <laughs> uh, <laughs> Sergeant Frog fans? Sergeant Frog. Sergeant Frog. I am Aki Hinata, and then I also wrote adaptations, some of the adaptations, probably a quarter of the first chunk, and then more of the last part. Um, and then I started the direction of that as well. Did you write for that one too? Yeah, yeah, I wrote a lot. She's like the Renaissance woman. She writes, she acts, she directs, she does it all. Is yeah. Was there um, another <laughs> show that you there is wrote? that I've written for? Chuck Huber. Do you know Chuck Huber? Yes. No. <laughs> That's a good friend of mine. We've been writing partners for, I guess, a year and a half now. We started, our first thing was O Edo Rocket. O Edo Rocket, we were both in that too. Mm -hmm. No, I'm not in O Edo Rocket. Oh. No. I was. It's fun though, isn't it? <laughs> yeah. No, she made me it. It's pretty wacky. It's really, really fun. Um, we started writing that, and then we moved into Hitalia. Woo! So, uh, I am a narrator in Hitalia, and I also wrote those scripts with Chuck Huber. They're good yeah. scripts, solid, oh. funny. They're fun. They're, They're fun, here. and people get offended. I love it. <laughs> yeah. We got a hate letter. Oh, oh my god! Oh. And you know what we did? We high fived. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> we were like, Oh my god, we made it! We got a hate letter. <laughs> one, and then other ones came in, and they're they're pretty awesome. But there's only one that's directed specifically at our writing, because you know, I guess it wasn't as cute. I Thank you. Oh, that's sweet. Thank 
you. Can I just address the whole hate letter thing? Because I'm, I'm, I'm kind of new to it. The whole right. hate thing. You have to embrace it. It's so awkward. I, I just did this movie, um, Evangelion 2.0. No? Yep. Yes. Uh, so I just started getting like a few like hate letters, and it's it's so 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 much. It's so much. I'm not gonna lie. It's weird, you know. Like you work really hard, and somebody's like, I don't know that I liked your decision on that right. role. And it's cool. Spell it out in chocolate chips like that is a hate letter. Uh, and you know what? I'm, I'm probably going to pay attention to that as I eat it. Yeah. 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 Do they have a good time? Nursing me, and it's like I understand. Now that I have this cake in my mouth, I'm like, I will try harder next time. Yeah. I'm sure. So that's how to do it. I mean, are we forgetting anything? Is there anything that we're forgetting that you guys know that we're in that we haven't mentioned? Uh, Kenichi. I don't think I'm in Kenichi. Oh, I was in Kenichi. Sekirei! Sekirei! You were in Sekirei, yes. I'm Uzume in Sekirei. Ren, you were in Ren. Ren, you didn't do that. Ren. Ren. I'm Mimi in Ren. Have you guys seen that? Yes, you know a bit of that. Do you watch commentary? Listen to commentary? I do. You have and it's pretty funny. Yeah. I love commentary. Yeah, that's my favorite commentary ever. So anytime I talked to you about it earlier, I was like, see the commentary? Go watch commentary. Commentary is awesome. I love commentary. I swear a lot in it. <laughs> because I was told not to. So you have to. Well, actually what happened is Michael Jordan was on is on it for the director. Michael. And on it is Colleen, Rob McCollum, and myself and, and Tatum. And so we got in there, he's like, okay, because you know of the show, we can cuss, but we don't want it to be for like no reason. And I was like, okay. So as soon as like he introduced me, I yell, I drop an F bomb. I just yell it. <laughs> It's so weird. Uh, Jamie gave up cussing for, for Lent. Lent. And oh. so it's really weird. We'll be like, you know that song? It's like uh, the CeeLo song? Like, drive around town with the girl I love. Yeah. And I'm like, I do say yeah. a few. It's because weird. I can't say it. Instead of like, yeah, that. And when I'm in the booth and I mess up, because I have a tendency to just drop the F bomb whenever I mess up, now it's. Da 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 da. Fudge a duck. <laughs> fudge a duck. I'll fudge a duck. I'm going to use that. Duck. What would that Son of a biscuit. Son of a biscuit, yeah. Good. Son of the beach, also. Son of the beach. Come on in, have a sit down. Don't be shy. Oh, you're good. Walking out. Uh, if you can't see, you might want to slow down. But other than that, we're just having a good time. Hey. Welcome, welcome. Oh my goodness, are we starting questions already? Questions! Wait, hold that thought. Are we ready for questions? Yes! Uh, all right, you. Yay. My favorite part of Italia. Oh, yeah, that's a funny air. I'm, I'm, yeah, that was fun. Like, writing it is really fun and coming up with stuff. Um, sometimes what I write doesn't make it in, in, in the show because it has a tendency to be too offensive. It's weird. Um, <laughs> the most censored woman at Funimation, ladies and gentlemen. <laughs> it's sad. You should, we should start a fan page to uncensor Jamie Martin. Right? Right? Yeah, you want to talk about hate letters. You know, what's an abortion joke, right? <laughs> <laughs> They're never not funny. It doesn't matter what you Apparently they are. <laughs> you know? We're not supposed to mention a lot of things. Like learning disabilities. <laughs> well, you she know. She sneaks them in. Like, we try. We try. Um, there was... Gosh, just off of the... There's so many moments. But there's one that I wrote. And the narrator's talking about Lichtenstein. Mm -hmm. And she can't pronounce it. And she's like, Lit Lichtenstein, yada yada yada, because la le, 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 and I knew when I wrote it there is no way if I didn't play the narrator that the person was going to get it. So I wrote it with a prayer that I would get it, and I did. Um, yeah, that's one of my favorites because it's so random, so super random. Although, like for the other characters, Romano, I had you so much. That's nice. We might be bringing a little bit of that back. I don't mind request though. Sure. Did you can say as Masane. Masane. Oh goodness. Holy moly. Oh, what is it? This is really exciting. <laughs> <laughs> I can't, I'll say S Storm. I can't say that. 
Oh, yeah. Mm -hmm. This weather girl is predicting a 99% chance of S storm, and it's coming right at you. <laughs> gave up fried foods Aww. and red meat. Aww. And let me tell you, if you're going to a Venezuelan restaurant, <laughs> not a lot of options. <laughs> still delicious, still delicious. Question. All right, first, before I get to my question, I'm just gonna say, because you're holding off, I'll make sure to double the swears for you. Thank you, oh, that's so that's sweet. sweet. <laughs> now, this is for, for both of you. Uh, just, what's your opinion on a bridge series on the internet? Oh, the abridged series. You know what? Honestly, I haven't watched them, so I can't really have an opinion. But um, you know, people are having a good time. Why not? <laughs> what? Okay. All right. See, and here's the thing that something to understand is um, we both work a lot with anime. Right now, I'm directing something, so I'm up there from ten to six. I go home and I write for three hours. On the weekends, I write. If I'm not writing, if I'm not directing, I'm recording. So I'm I'm swimming in a show right now. It's good. It's great. But when I when I have free time, I'm watching like E! True Hollywood Story. <laughs> <laughs> I'm not watching anything animated. Like even some some even like Family Guy has had to suffer. Aww. Yeah, I know. It's sad. It's sad. And someone's like, you miss Family. I was like, I can't watch it. I watch can't. I need to watch fun. Chelsea Handler. Yeah. Chelsea Lately. <laughs> And then I gotta go to bed because I gotta run in the morning. Yeah, that's normally yeah. how it works. That's a lot of information. I'm sorry. Next, did you have you had a question? Oh, I just want to say, so sorry. I totally hear you on that. Full time student in college, and at the same time, I've been recently getting the pretty much full time hours at GameStop, so I get an earful of Brina all day long. Brina. Hey, Brina. Well, that's better. Yeah. Better Brina than some other tool. Well, she has that one tool with the glasses with her. Oh. Right. And I love Brina. Oh, I love her so much. She went to London. Because she's fancy. She's fancy. I mean, not as fancy as us. A little hair toss. Okay. Glamorous <laughs> ladies. We are, we are. We are, yeah. Um, yes? How do you guys like um, working on FMA Brotherhood? Um, I just was in it like a blip. And that blip played, so I loved it. <laughs> I think I heard one of you guys in the commentary of Brotherhood, because I bought that. Oh, yeah, the commentary. Yeah. 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 You guys are so funny. Thanks, <laughs> <laughs> um, yeah, well, no, no, is a really awesome hilarious. property to work on. Uh, I really enjoyed working with Mike. It's really cool to have a director that you trust and you know has your back and uh, is really supportive and also uh, completely cool with you being maybe five minutes late as long as you bring him a latte. So, that's nice. The director, she's, she brings iced tea. Yes. Iced tea. Unsweet. Lattes. Uh, it just depends sometimes the breakfast chicken biscuits from uh, Chick-fil-A. Not that I'm ever late. <laughs> no. But um, I love Full, Full Metal Alchemist Brotherhood. Awesome. I, you asked that question, I have no idea what an abridged series is. Like what it was. <coughs> Basically, you know, most of them, they condense it down, get the basic plot points, mm -hmm. and come up with tons, tons of jokes. Based off it's of, a know, funny version. The show or they make oh. fun of it. Well, he did uh, Yu-Gi-Oh! Abridged. You know, uh, Yugi, oh no! Yeah, like that's you really interesting. Race the guns, and you'd be like, oh, I get it. Ugh, freeze the invisible guns. Oh, like that. okay. Oh, okay. I get it. I See, get it. It's, if it's fun, then you like it. Why not? It's funny. The more you know. <laughs> the better. It is today. Over there. Alright, yeah. You do voice acting primarily, you also do directing, you do mind production, all that. Did you just start acting? Oh, my hands hurt. Oh, me too. I'm gonna get one. Yeah. Well, um, I have a degree. I have a, I have a Bachelor of Fine Arts from the University of Oklahoma. Um, <laughs> I'm a huge Oklahoma fan. Um, so I have, you know, writing history. I have directing history. I have a lot of acting history. So when I got in, I started acting. I, I've been in a few years before I was like, some of these other people are writing. And some of these other people are directing. I'm going to do that. So I... Colleen was line producing at the time, and I sent her an email that said, hey, so you know how I've been doing this for a while? I want to direct. And then I sent someone else an email that said, hey, so you know how I want to, I've been doing this a while, I want to write. <laughs> In the same week, like the week after I sent those letters, I thought maybe one of them would come back. I started writing a script, started writing Negama, 
And then Colleen was like, hey, you want to start directing at the end of the week? So I quit the job that I had and started, and that's how it happened. I asked. It was very lucky. And you had a lot of experience. And right, you had the And you've been yeah. doing it for a yeah. while. I mean, and I'm kind of a big deal. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, have you seen her hair? <laughs> we toss, we, we're hair tossers. Flagrant, flagrant hair tossers. Yeah. Lee. In the gender swap version of Italia was ever produced, who would you want to play? Um, um, <laughs> mm, so, France is awesome. <laughs> However, uh, I think I might go for Prussia. Prussia's pretty awesome. He's coming up. He's coming up. Not that I know anything about that. Prussia's pretty awesome. Um, yeah, gosh, it's a toss-up between those two. Yeah, they're all, but they're all fun. And here's the cool thing about writing: is I am all of them. When I'm watching it, like I have little mini accents. So I'll walk my dog and be like, let's go to walk. <laughs> you make a good day, we go back. <laughs> or, you ready to go to the bathroom, let's go. <laughs> so, like I kind of, I, I kind of do it all anyway, but yeah, the, oh God, they're all so fun. Fact? Fact. 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 I feel a little stifled, Jamie. Why? I feel like we're not moving enough. You feel like a mover. I like to stay still. <laughs> like there's a giant cheese wheel back here that we haven't been to. What's sushi? It's not a cheese wheel. Oh, I can't have cheese. It's not a little cheese. It's not even a little bit of cheese. Jonah and Colleen Yay! Yeah. However, <laughs> however, not to discount or discredit those fantastic actors, but luckily, you are about to be, you know, kind of pseudo entertained, or at least we hope so. You're not going to be sitting in a hall. You're not going to sit in a hall. <laughs> Link. No. This is Jamie Markey, ladies and gentlemen. Yeah. And this is Jamie oh my gosh, thank you. <laughs> this is my good friend, Trina Nishimura. Uh, okay, so I, I recognize that uh, you were sitting in a hallway, and that's not cool. No. I get that. We're all on the same page yeah. about that, right? Yes. Hey, so how many of you, wait, we're planning on going to our panel tomorrow? Okay, rules are you still have to go to our panel tomorrow. <laughs> All right? Okay? Okay? Okay, all right. Well, I'm going to need... I, before we officially start. Yeah, officially. We just greeted it. Isn't that an official? Well, I mean, it was official, official but everyone like, just seems kind of, like, sleepy. Oh. So, how many of you are excited to be here? Just run <laughs> It's like God gave us a sign. It's pretty. And that sign was bright, and it said Canon and Citizen. Right. Oh, I thought it said Marky, but it says Mark. Oh, you know, it can't be Marshall. It's good. Marshall. Marshall. That would make sense. C. Read Marky with a C H. I just assume every C H is a K. We are currently in the month of Mark. Hey. Also, I cannot write. March without writing Marky first. It's like, this is how I spell March. M A R C H I backspace. Wow. <laughs> Every time. That's so crazy. I can't write Nishimura with anything else, really. So. Right. Well, it's really fun. Yeah, Sorry no, I, I wish there was a month called Nishimura. And then, uh, backspace. People put an exclamation mark next to it. I'm like, that's me! Oh. <laughs> <laughs> Welcome, come on in. Hey, hey. Nice have, have a little sit down. <laughs> sit down, squat down, or lie down. So we just kind of sit up here and chat. We don't have a format. We're babblers. Yeah, that's Woo! cool. I, I appreciate that's okay. that. I appreciate that. Thank yes. you. Thank you for the prompt. What do you, okay, so we have, I know that we have some people that want to ask us questions specifically, but is there anything else besides question taking you guys wanting that you want us to tell you what we're in? Yeah. We're kind of famous. Two, so you know, yeah. Vicky Trina, Colleen. famous. Well, I mean, it's not really famous. Trying. We're working on it. Right. There's a particular restaurant in Dallas I'm famous at. It's Thai, and they deliver. Oh, I don't know what they're like, oh, Jamie, yeah. They love you because, well, their curry is out of control. 
Oh, so sorry. Hi. Um, <laughs> Trina, my darling. Jamie. What 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 have you been in? What have I? What haven't I been in? I am. Uh, <laughs> so let's see. Sometimes that's in depth how like it's how it works. There's something in everything. Like tiny little voice backgrounds. Right. Yeah. yeah. Trina and I started doing Walla together. Well, I had been around a little bit longer, but we did Walla together for a very long time, which is like crowd scenes. And it was Trina, Brina Palencia, and myself. It was fun. And what a time we had. <laughs> we it was very, it was. Hard to get us to focus. Actually, oh, just a lot of talking. They eventually separated us. We were like, "Oh my God, I'm so good to see you. I haven't seen you since yesterday." And I'm like, oh my God. "You want us to do a scene?" <laughs> but we're, we're and then, and then the background became like, "So okay, this, there's this new guy, and I think he's kind of cute." But what do you like? Some of them, I'm sure, if you listen to the background noise, if you could listen to it, you would hear <laughs> our social lives. <laughs> <laughs> who you were dating? Who you weren't dating? Yeah. Who you were diddling? <laughs> <laughs> Those were the days. <laughs> Let's talk about shows. So, um, I started at Funimation Entertainment about seven years ago with a little show called Desert Punk. I was a little girl. Oh, thank you. Thank you. I was a little hungry girl all the time. I opened the show, I think, with like, I'm hungry or something like that. And then I got to eat a lollipop in my very first session ever. That was pretty cool. That was with Zach Bolton. It was his first show. Um, from there, I graduated and uh, kind of staked my claim at Funimation and refused to leave basically, until they started casting me more. Uh, so yeah, I did works. Negama. I was Chao Ling Shin in Negama and Matsu, directed by, season two was directed by the beautiful Jamie Markey. Yeah, and written, right? Yes, I wrote the second season as well. Yeah. It was kind of amazing. Uh, let's see, what else? Uh, there was also, my very first big, big role was a tiny little show called J.O. I don't know if you've heard of it. J.O. Anyone, anyone? It's a fun little show. Yay! Oh, there it is! Yeah. 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 It exists, it exists, Google it. Uh, New one. Oh. Tiz and Matt. Uh, let's see what else. There was Claymore. I don't know if y'all know. Yeah. Yeah. Um, okay, as you say stuff, I'm gonna say I was in that too. So oh yeah, that, that'll really that'll it'll time. help. Okay, so I was in Desert Punk as well. Um, um, school Rumble. And I was in. Oh, I'm sorry. Uh, not School Rumble. The other one. I was in Negama. Negama. I wrote and directed the second season, yeah. and I also am Haruna. Yeah. Um, school Rumble. Akira. I was Akira in School Rumble. I have more roles in School Rumble than anyone else. I have about five or six roles back. Yeah, one of them is name is Psycho. Because I thought that was hilarious. Like the line was, well, who are you? I'm Psycho. <laughs> I'm um, what, Claymore. Uh, Claymore. I'm Claymore. Helen in Claymore. Which I always, I, I just now started remembering it because it was a simple name. So I'd be like, I'm like Mary, Jana, because it's so normal. Right. It's like, Oh, I can't remember that one. Helen, 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 Helen. I was two people in Claymore. I was Flora and Sophia. Nice. Yeah, you know, I'm just an overachiever that way. <laughs> but, uh, let's see what else there was. Uh, uh, we did School Rumble. Uh, Were you in My Bride as a Mermaid? That one just came out. That, that was, was cool. really fun. <laughs> hey, so at our hotel this morning, we lost electricity. Oh, it was awful. Just in the room, just in the room. Yeah, it might have had something to do with two blow dryers going at the same time. There's a lot of hair, uh, but we had to go to another room to get ready. It was very exciting. At least you stayed in a hotel. You didn't have to sleep at the airport. I did not have to sleep at the airport. Oh, that's sad. That you didn't have to sleep tragic. at the airport. Tragic I'm story. Sorry, pumpkin. Fun. Look, I found some stuff. Oh. What did you find? Let's find out. Which Friday night mean? after Megacon 2011. No cover. Free pizza. Free beer. So with 21 and up. 21 and up with ID. Special so guest, guest Mark with a C. Mark. Captain Dan. Dan and the scurvy crew. The scurvy crew. Arg. 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 I'm, this is my pirate. Arg. Okay. Who's going to this? This looks fun. fun. Crew. Check us out. It's a Friday night after Megacon. See, but is this. Oh, yeah, what? I just found that. Evangelion. Evangelion. In the All right, sorry. Uh, other questions. Sorry. See, this is what happens over here. Yes. Sorry. Babbler. Oh, yeah. yeah. And Jay Michael Tatum have an anime show that they we do little interviews with, and we have a really good time. And then they put it on the interwebs. That anime show. It's also on iTunes. And also on iTunes, yeah. but free. 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 So yes, you're an avid fan. Um, I love both of your episodes. They're hilarious. Thank you. Um, Thanks. I wanted to know how it all went with both of yours, but with yours, the ending, the robot ending. The robot ending. Okay. Okay. Did they blow me up at the end of my episode? Yeah. Oh, that's fun. I didn't know that. <laughs> that's exciting. 
For a second I thought you were talking about the Halloween episode. And I was like, there was no robots, just spiders. <laughs> Have you guys heard that one? Yeah. It's true. Oh, well, that's true. Yeah, it's true stories. It's terrifying. My parents' house is too. What are you talking about? They had a Halloween special and we came in and we told ghost stories. But I, my story is about my parents' house. My parents live in the country in Oklahoma. A little town called Piedmont. And, Piedmont, um, Oklahoma. I have a younger brother whose name is Jean Luc Kester, and he is in um, um, bats, baseball. Baseball. <coughs> He's about baseball. Okay. Cricket. Big wind up. Big wind up. Oh, he's in big wind up. Show. Mizutani, I think it's <laughs> something like that. Anyway, he's adorable. Love him. And we were, we were doing a show together when we talked about my parents' house. Well, being in the country, when I first moved into that house, I guess it was 10 or something like that, and it had been vacant for four years. So there were a lot of creatures that were li live, living, not undead, totally living creatures in that house. And do you guys know what fiddlebacks are? They call them brown recluse too. Yeah, the size of your hands. Ooh, like horrifying. And my mom would tell me that every night I was having nightmares about spiders until finally she went in there. She's like, I need you to stop coming into the room and she turned on the light and there are all these spiders Ooh. like walking, like, she's like, it looked like they were stalking you. Ooh, it's terrifying. So yeah, you'd like this is a little, just a little sample of what I had to deal with. But go, whenever I had to walk in to my parents' house, they have a little courtyard and it has a balcony over it. And recently I was, and drove out there and followed my dad. And my dad was like, okay, I'm gonna go in first because there's a few spider webs hanging down, which I was kind of used to. And it's the worst, like if you're walking in the dark towards the front door and you walk face first into a spider web, not good. There is no amount of shrieking that's gonna stop the shaking. <laughs> <laughs> and so I walk in, or I, I walk around the corner, I wait for him to turn on the lights and there are no less than 20 spider webs with spiders in them, just in the balcony area. There's trees to the side too. That makes me And my dad is just standing underneath it. Like, close, it's fine, now you can see. I was like, dad, get, go, under, inside, inside, now! <laughs> and he was like, what? I was like, go inside! And so he goes inside, I was like, just hold the door open. And I just ran, because you know there's gonna be one that falls on you, and if not, you're gonna think it. I know, I know, exactly, exactly. It was horrible. It was so awful, and like all oh, amounts of colors, and oh, okay, so, so where did the so in the morning they were all gone? They had packed up their little homes. <laughs> and my dad's so anyway. Where did the robot come in? Yeah, that? I guess at the end. It was at the end. They edited some of your audio, so it sounded like you were like not listening to the video. Oh, that's fun. I'll have to have a little discussion. <laughs> <laughs> Your Dodie's birthday is coming up, and we're having dinner. I oh, had a little conversation with her about that last night. Yeah, that's blow me up. Mm. Anyway, uh, you're blowing up. Yes, really not. Good. Yes, not. That's a good Did you show. have a question? Um, it's more of just a comment. Uh, I just wanted to say that I um, really respect now, like doing like how most people think it's kind of easy, and I've actually done some voiceover now, and it's freaking hard. It's yeah. Oh, yeah, it is really hard. <laughs> Especially, you know, at first when you come in and you're kind of nervous, and then you have to match the flaps. Yeah, that's you know, the hardest part. Oh, yeah, that is the hardest part. And still act. Yeah. And still, you know, try to make it funny or try, you know, or not try to make it funny, but make it funny. Yeah. Make it this way. Make, make it, real. it whatever, you know, represent that character in a specific time. So and pause for half a second yeah. <laughs> or an eighth of a second, you know, just. Hitch here, hitch there. Yeah. I found that, like, or like they, 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 they say, okay, you have to do this, and this is the character, but you've never seen it before. You don't get a chance to see it. So mm -hmm. you just have to guess. Mm -hmm. And then, like, the worst part I found was that when you have to, like, do, like, then you sit, make a noise. You, you turn, make a noise. Yeah. Who, yeah. who makes noises when they sit? No one. No one. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, this is, hold on, hold on. Example. Here we go. Yeah, like, everything is. <laughs> Watch, and I can do it with my mouth open and still not make a noise. <laughs> right? Yeah, and this is normally, oh, I gotta sit down. But still, it's not this. <laughs> I'm gonna stand up. Well, there's no, in, in defense of the little noises, A, I appreciate the paycheck, and right. B, <laughs> uh, those little noises, like when you watch cartoons, you know, they're two dimensional. And so if you see, like, two dimensional Jamie walking across the stage, it's like, oh, there's a girl walking across the stage. But if you see two-dimensional Jamie walking across the stage, like, oh, God. Yeah. Yep. Yeah. All right. 
this is good. You know, like, <laughs> you know that two-dimensional Jamie is feeling some pain because of her killer shoes. <laughs> they are pretty good, though, aren't they? They're, gonna they're really good. Um, you know, like, that's, there's a point, there's a purpose. Yeah. It is a challenging but challenge. But there, at first, specific, you sound, you just feel stupid. <laughs> yeah. There's, you just feel stupid. Like, really? This is the noise I'm making right now? <laughs> and then, for the first time, fighting noises? Yeah. Or eating? Or eating. Oh, yeah. the eating noises. a lot of eating. Yeah, the, the fighting ones are, uh, that was the most miserable, my first time I ever fought, most miserable experience. <laughs> Dude, my first fighting, like I was, I think I was really angry at something or somebody, boyfriend, and uh, there was, it was with Colleen actually, uh, for I think Negama, and she was like, okay, so I'm going to need you to like, do this and do that and do this, and I was like, okay, I'm ready, and then I just like went crazy, like over the top, and she was like, that was a lot. <laughs> <laughs> so just come on, come on back to me. So that's good. It's, it's harder to get someone to go all the way than to get them to pull back. Yeah. Um, my first fight was for Salty Ray. Do you know Salty Ray at all? Yeah. I'm Integra. I'm one of the, the Toyotas in that. Um, it's Toyota. There's Integra and Celica. For real. <laughs> I wanted a Celica when I was in high school. Yeah. I yeah. dated a boy with one. Caitlin Glass played Celica. Oh, that's that cool. Well, I love Caitlin. Don't you love Caitlin? Caitlin. Caitlin. Represent Magic Mick. Awesome. So anyway, that was directed by the one, the only Christopher Sabat. What does he not do, right? Oh uh, yeah, right. He does it everything. So I had this fight scene, and I was like, okay, I'm gonna do this. It'll be good because he can show me like what he wants and give me examples because he's like this fight king, whatever. He was <coughs> so he could only kind of describe what he wanted. I had no idea what I was doing, and the whole time I'm like, oh my gosh, I am so stupid. I look like such an idiot right now. He probably hates me. Aww. Yeah, it was horrible. I left like I'm never gonna work again because I can't do fight noises. That's so true. Oh, thank you. You did a great job. Well, then I got Witchblade. See? Yeah, everything changed. <laughs> fight scenes improved incredibly. That's right. Now sometimes I just get cast because it's a fight scene. And oh, no, she yeah. Do it. yeah. It's like, oh, you did Witchblade? Awesome. Yeah. Trina, go ahead and just go with the picture. It's like, oh, cool, yeah. I recently did a show for Zach and it was just this huge fight scene. And after I, was, I just did it all in one kind of take, and he was afterwards, he goes, Thank you, which way? <laughs> right? Like, You're welcome. That's thank, awesome. Thank Christopher Bevins, he cast me. She's had her hand up for a minute. Oh, okay, she sure. answer your little question, pumpkin head. Oh, thank you. <laughs> <laughs> that was cute, I like it. What do you think of Germany? I love Germany. <laughs> yeah! I love them all. You love Germany, Patrick Seitz. I haven't met him yet, I like that. but I'm going to soon. I'm very excited about it. Um, he said, and the funny thing is, he sounds exactly like he does in my head. Like when I wrote it before he was ever cast, that's exactly how I heard him in my head. That's cool. So it's kind of cool for that to happen. That's really cool. Yeah. Um, and he's like funny, and he's kind of the funny thing is he's like the only sane one, and you get it. Everyone else is so crazy, and yeah, maybe Germany and yeah, the Nazi thing, whatever. But he's the only one that's like, look, this is the right way to do things. And he's generally right. But, you know, you have to kind of miss him. <laughs> <laughs> but yeah, no, I love Jamie. I think he's great. I think he's very good. He's so mad. He gets so mad. Yeah. Yeah, Lee. If you were, uh, which, which way or anywhere to your Yeah. Would you take ass characters like hell and um, okay. would you want to fight? Who would I want to fight? Like, Anyone in comics or video games or any other. Oh, cool! That's a good question. Mm. Yeah. Say something else. Like, like, <laughs> I was like, what? Mm. Oh. Hold on. Yeah. Let's let's talk about this. Wait, okay. So, so am I fighting like the comic book version, or maybe perhaps the hot actor that portrayed that? <laughs> <laughs> Just like, um, like if you license the art. Probably very yeah. slim if it was confirmation. I mean, you never know, but probably slim. Oh, That's not true. I would really like to fight him. Doesn't that sound like fun? <laughs> <laughs> you know, who else would I want to fight? Well, there's, you know, you never know about Robert Downey Jr. Afro Samurai, Funimation true. property. But then they take it to LA and we don't get to be in it. I'm just trying to stay positive you over are, here. You <laughs> are. I mean, I'm over here swooning at my positivity of who I want to fight. I thought we were talking about who you wanted to. <laughs> that was so freaking hilarious. <laughs> 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 
Robert Downey Jr. and I could fight so well. <laughs> I would fight him all night. <laughs> you know who else I'd like to fight? I could fight so well. <laughs> I would fight him all night. <laughs> you know who else I'd like to fight repeatedly? <laughs> So, what's his name? That's like James McAvoy. He's gonna be, yeah, oh, that's in the new X-Men. Yeah, uh, mm -hmm. I could fight him for real, dude. <laughs> oh my God, uh, Hugh Jackman, fight him. I would fight him. <laughs> fight him with me, girl. Fight him. Fight him. <laughs> you give him a what for? <laughs> I mean, as long as we're fighting people, I mean, we can right. get I mean, there's a list. We have a list of people we'd like to fight. <laughs> we all like fighting. <laughs> what? How about fighting Gerard Butler? I can, I can fight him. <laughs> We're right here, girlfriend. <laughs> mm, baby girl. Mm -hmm. <laughs> I would fight him. And he'd fight me with an accent. <laughs> Do we know Twilight? I know Twilight. Oh, Ooh, that's a good question. Well, okay, I'm, I'm Team Jacob, I'll tell you why. Oh, because look at you! Because they were going to take his role away from him and give it to someone who was hunkier. So he beefed up. He beefed up to get that role. Like, that's the reason he beefed up from the first, from the first movie to the second movie. Oh, um, but it's because so he could keep the role. That's the whole reason. And now Where's he's all hot and cut. I'm Team Jacob. Is he a minor? No, he's, he's a minor. I would not fight him. <laughs> yeah. Mama don't want to go to jail for fighting. No. <laughs> you fighting the minor. Yeah. <coughs> right. No. That's no. weird. So now I'm, team, I'm not team That's anyone. Weird. Now I feel bad. <laughs> and also. Edward's hair bugs me. <laughs> like, get some product, boy. Get a haircut. Uh, you're tall enough. What? Someone said something? Get a tan. Get a tan. No, see, it's not even that. It's not, maybe get man up a little bit. Yeah. I mean, you're a vampire. He's Quit acting like a chick. Exactly. Woo! <laughs> <laughs> Woo! I mean, I have no idea what he just said. He's a vampire. Quit acting like a chick. Oh, I don't, I don't think that's true, Jamie. I disagree with that statement. Because <laughs> mm. uh, I know I'm pretty... But see, when I was in... I'm uh, <laughs> Interview with a vampire. Woo! Yeah! And I will tell you... That was just some good-looking vampire. <laughs> yeah, that's fair. Woo! No, but like, saying yeah. like, quit acting like a chick. I know some pretty tough chicks. I mean... Yeah, but they don't act like chicks. That's not true. Chicks can be tough and be chicks. For example, oh my gosh! Yeah, it just got real people. So, <laughs> you know, you can act like a chick, lady, and st lady, mm -hmm. woman, girl, and still be, you know, respectable, tough, etc. But I didn't say that. I said a chick specifically, which is not necessarily a lady, not necessarily a strong person. It's the person who likes to be. I'm a girl. So just to clarify, that's my definition. I'm a girl. I can't do anything. I'm a vampire. I can't do anything. Okay, I've never seen it. <laughs> I'm just gonna admit it. I haven't ever seen it. Am I wrong? Yeah, no. no. Like really, it's, no. it's a little whining. Like yes. you are immortal. Get over it. <laughs> yeah. Right? But that's too. Most immortals are like that. You're like, come on, guy. You gotta live forever. That's kind of Deal nice. Deal with your business. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Yeah. Okay, let's just move on. Moving on from so, yeah, Team Jacob. Question. Team Jacob. What? Before what? Before Team Jacob? What's the question? Oh. oh, you were gonna ask for more questions in a um, Twilight vein. How about um, um, vein? Did you see how I did that? I didn't even do it on purpose. Yeah. I just did that. Did you get it? Vein? Vampire? I didn't. I have no idea what you said. <laughs> I can't hear you. It's really weird. It's the same. It's, I said it's the same vein. Oh, vein! Like vein. I get it, like a, like a vein. Didn't do it on purpose. Because it's a fit. 
<laughs> thing, like white thing, like the dog. Right. That, like, that doesn't make any sense. Not as funny. Um, <laughs> no, but it, you know, it's good. Yeah. Still good. Okay. Still good. More, more questions. <laughs> good. So this is what it's like to be around us. Just so it's you know. random, right? It's kind of very, odd. very random. Nobody else has a seat. What's going on? Do we have a time? Two forty-eight. Oh my goodness! It's flying by. You guys are fun. Are you guys having a good time? Yeah. Because we are. We're the best waiting for Vic line ever. Yeah. <laughs> Better than a hallway. What, what was your question, babe? Yeah. Favorite moments, Lost Rider. <gasps> Lost Rider. Favorite moment. Oh. Did you just hear a baby cry? <laughs> yeah, a little bit. Is there an actual baby? No. Is there a baby? No. Little kids. Oh, we're sorry. It's Luigi. No. Okay, feel better. <laughs> ah, Luigi. Where are you? Luigi. I want to see the beach. Hello, pumpkin. Um, Where's your little pumpkin here? Where's your little pumpkin here? Like, over here, right here, right here, right here, right here, right here. Oh, Luigi! Oh, 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 he's coming up here. Yeah, yeah. Oops, sorry, Mom. See, you're gonna kill me. You're gonna kill me. Hi, Luigi. Hi, everyone. Hi, Luigi. Oh, that's Yay. really cute. Feel okay. better, sweetie. Favorite movie? Last Rider. Go. Keep going back to our fight conversation. There's a little Ouija in here. Um, <laughs> I my favorite. Last Okay, I really liked the like CG that they did on that show. Like I thought it was amazing. Just watching it, I thought it was incredible. It's a beautiful show. But I did like when Amanda got emotional about stuff. I enjoy crying <laughs> so that other people will cry, and then I can be like, I did that. <laughs> um, it's fun. Well, I can karaoke sometimes. <laughs> so my favorite moment from Glass Rider was probably oh, when Mei Fong Liu was like, you remember that part where like she finds um, her grandfather and he's all like hooked up to that machine thing and like he's like dying and so she like freaks out and she's like screaming and like pulling all the stuff off and it's like blood and blue stuff and guts and then she's just like, Bleh! like that was my favorite. When I like after that session I couldn't talk for like a week. It was insane. It was so much. You know what else I just remembered? We're in together. What's that? Tower of Druaga. Oh yeah! Woo! Which and the funny thing about that is because Blast Rider was being recorded at the same time as Tower of Druaga, and in it's kind of a love tri love triangle. Blast Rider. Mm -hmm. uh, mm -hmm. You guys know, of course. Um, Travis Willingham. Yes. Travis. Yes. yes. And Todd Haberkorn. Yes. yes. So in Blast Rider, Travis's character wanted my character, my character wanted Todd's character. In Tower of Duraga, Todd's character wanted my character, my character wanted Travis's character. I win. <laughs> right? Right? Totally. You totally win. win on that one. Um, yeah, so it was always funny. I'd be like, oh, look who wants me now. A little too late for that. <laughs> Fun, random old story. Questions? Questions? Yes. How did y'all get into anime? Anime specifically? I auditioned. I ran into some, this is actually the true story. I was at a friend's homeowners association meeting for no reason whatsoever. <laughs> and having it, it's gonna be quick, whatever. Met someone who worked at Funimation. He said, you're an actor, you should come audition. I said, okay. Called, set up an audition. And that was Fruits Basket. That's how I got into it. It was very, and most people have weird stories like that, I would say, but yeah. Trina's story is the following. <laughs> I got into anime in the following way. <laughs> <laughs> no, I was, I was in college, and I was super broke. Like, stupid broke. Like, as I mean, broke as you are in college. Well, right? As broke yeah. as I am now. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. You know, eating ramen every day, you know, you're like, oh, wow. that that's a bad thing. No, but like every day, mm -hmm. it, when you start getting creative with ramen, you're like, I'll just crunch it up and eat it raw, and that'll be different. It doesn't <laughs> taste like ramen now. Um, so I was uh, in college and super broke and super tired, and a friend of mine was an engineer, a sound engineer at Funimation, and he's like, oh, well, you used to be a kid actor, like when you did commercials and stuff like that. I was like, yeah, like a million years ago. Now I'm going to go to law school. That didn't work out. Yeah. Anyways, um, so I but it could have, couldn't have. Yeah. I had yeah. a few jobs. It was fun. And then I had an internship. It was fun. And then he was like, "Well, you know, come in, make a little extra scrilla." And uh, I called, and 
they were like, oh yeah, we don't really have anybody, any time to audition anybody right now, blah, blah, blah. Like there was one show coming up, Desert Punk. And I was like, I will just, is it cool if I just come and sit and see if anything opens up? And she was like, no, that's not cool at all. <laughs> but uh, since you know Jimmy, uh, we'll get you in like for a little time to audition. Is that pre Tara? No, that was Tara. Oh, so Tara Williams, she's the talent coordinator at Funimation. Amazing. Very good friend. So. Amazing she's awesome uh, that was her first thing was no nice. you can't just come in no you can't just come in that's adorable but it's not gonna happen I'm like oh well I could just you know whatever and then oddly I got cast and luckily they like me enough to keep me around so uh, that and I put stuff in the water cooler so people like me <laughs> but that's what here. I don't support drugs <laughs> Just for the record. Are you tired? What's going on with you? I just was sitting down, that's yeah. all. I just wanted to change things up, different levels. Oh, I was gonna river dance. <laughs> Sweet. Yeah. 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 No, no. I, could totally I just wanted to change levels. Yeah. Everybody can see me, okay? Yeah. <laughs> you can, oh, can so move your chair my... out or no no no, 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 no. Just, just, There's a whole runway that we haven't utilized. Yes, you had another um, non anime. Um, Trina, where'd you get your shirt? Oh, do you like it? Right? It's ridiculous, isn't it? Uh, it was actually my mother's a million years ago. Uh, it's from 1970 something. Nice. I love it. It's one of my favorite shirts, and uh, I'm lucky enough to have this great uh, stylist friend. And uh, he comes over to my house before I go to conventions. I'm like, hey, what do you think about this? What do you think about this? What do you think about this? And he's like, that shirt is going to stop the world. I'm like, it's going to stop the world. <laughs> It was my mom's. <coughs> my mom. I, it's, it's, you know, vintage clothes are always fun. Going to vintage stores and shopping through stuff. Jamie and I are notorious shoppers. Like, love it. <laughs> love it. We'll actually go. It's kind of competitive. Like, I'll go and I'll go to a store and be like, Jamie would love that. I'm buying it. And then, like, I'll send her, like, pictures, pictures. on my iPhone. And pictures. I'll be like, this is what so, like, I got. This is the sale price. What's up? <laughs> these shoes what do you think about those yeah and she's like oh <laughs> yeah it's <laughs> awesome she'll send me pictures of like she just got these I, well not just the black patents oh oh they're sick these black patent leather platforms that she got it's just a little old pump. Oh, <laughs> it's your kidding? basic four or five inch negative platform. ridiculous she got those to which i responded with satin peep toe platforms <laughs> With rhinestones on the toe. Yeah. Yeah. It's kind of a battle. We're, we're at the battle. The only, the sad, sad part of the story is that we wear different size shoes. Oh. Yeah, that's the worst part. Mm. And I, I always it's forget that because we're the same height. Yeah. I forget that every time and I'm like, oh, Jamie, what size shoe do you wear? She's like, too small for you. I'm like, oh. oh. Same. But, and not even by that much. But enough to make the difference. Just enough that it would... You can walk. Yes. Yeah. Question. Just bringing the room down, isn't it? <laughs> Can't share your shoes. What are your favorite solely or pairs? My favorite solely people. I like mine. <laughs> um, yeah. I like Liz and Patty, and um, but I really like the dynamic of making fun of death. I enjoy that quite quite a bit. And then, for whatever reason, I embraced that in real life, so I like to make fun of Todd now. <laughs> That's always fun. Um, well, and also Sheremy, who plays Patty. Oh, Sheremy's adorable. She, and she's so funny. <coughs> so, isn't Thank she you. so Thank funny you. in that show? And, like, I remember when she was in Negama. So, by all means. I mean, I will next week. So I'll be like, oh, yeah, oh, oh look at that. I think we're almost we, done. There was one more question. Let's do one, oh, okay. more. one more question. One more question. What's up, Mamacita? Down there, which. Que pas? Que pas? Cole, can you hold the camera while I fix my hair? What? What size shoe? Shoe size? Oh, I'm a six and a half. Woo! I'm an eight. They're yeah. big shoes to fill, but I fill them out. <laughs> yeah. It's cool, man. No judgment. Sometimes. I have real. I have, I am tiny, feeted people in my family. <laughs> we are made that word up. Um, tiny feeted. No, my mom is four eleven. And I, yay, yeah, so she wears like a four and a half. And my grandmother always wore six. So when I got a bigger size six when I was growing up, this is funny too, my grandfather started calling me Bigfoot. For real, like it was a joke. I didn't know it till I was in college though. I thought I had big feet. 
And then when I got to college, I was like, I have the smallest feet of almost everybody I know. That's weird. Um, yeah, so that's kind of funny. But yeah, we have small feet, small hands. That's just how, that's how we do. That's my myth. I got big feet, big hands. I got stuff to do, places to go. You can go. play the piano. <laughs> you can, I can't. I have a really difficult time with Guitar Hero or Rock Band because my that is, my hand. That's a tragedy yeah. right oh, there yes, that. in and of itself. I just keep it on the medium level. Yeah. Yeah. I believe it is. Uh... One more question. One more question. Okay. Just out of curiosity, Ooh. when you first had that struggle, did you find it? Well, it's kind of a long story, actually. <laughs> it's a really good story, but it's a good one. Babe, that's so at Funimation, mm -hmm. we all have uh, a fascination with cats. And right. frequently... Yeah. Um, As you do. It's just one of those things, like, you know how certain offices kind of adopt, they're like, oh, bring your dog to work day. Well, most of us are cat people. Yeah. And so, um, the other day, Jamie and I were talking about how <coughs> awesome it would be if instead of sending our cats to, like, the, the boarding house for cats, you know? Right. If instead... Or just we, leaving them at home and yeah. saying, no, deal with we that until that. I get home. Like, it's not yeah. fair that our cats don't get to go and do something when we go Exciting. out of town and have a wonderful time. Because they're always bored. Yeah, right? it's true, it's true. So we thought, well, where should we send them? Outer space. Outer space. Space. Which they'd need a little suit for, right? Obviously. <laughs> Obviously. And, um, that, and uh, that is Jamie's cat, Donkey Doodle. It's awesome. <laughs> they are having a lovely time. We'll actually uh, Skype with them later. Yeah. Yeah. They're, they're very talented. I believe talented. that is the end of our time here. Yeah. Okay, okay. One more. One more. One more. One more. One more. Because they're not in here yet. What are we doing? Colleen's here. Oh, Colleen's here. Okay, one more. One more. Yes. Colleen? What is yours? Um, two things. Trina, can you do the mise laugh? The mise laugh? The mise laugh? The chi-chi-chi laugh? chi 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 I don't remember what it is specifically. <laughs> because I felt it. Because that's what I would do. <laughs> so anyway, welcome. Thank you Yay! for those of you who came. Thank you, thank you. Thank you for coming out, guys. Have another, have another blast. Yeah. Hey, thanks for coming to us. Yeah. Oh, you know what? Yeah, you guys were awesome. Thank for you. <laughs> we had fun, that was fun. Yeah. It always is. <laughs>